To go with our barbecued steak, I'm going to make potato wedges, and I'm just using, uh, I have one sweet potato, so I'm going to use that, but I'm just using these potatoes, and the first thing is I'm going to scrub them really well, because I'm not going to peel them. So if you have a vegetable scrubber, which I don't, this would be the ideal time to use it. But clean your potatoes really good, really well. Once the potatoes are washed, now I'm going to cut them into bigger chunks. So kind of like that size. I'm not going to cut them thin like I would for uh, French fries. So cut up all your potatoes into fairly big, fairly big chunks. Now I've got a pot of water boiling. I've got the potatoes cut up. What I'm going to do is put the potatoes in set the timer and I'm going to parboil them for five minutes. This cuts down the time required in the oven. So five minutes boiling the potatoes. So the potatoes have uh, drained for couple minutes. I parboiled them for five minutes. I'm going to add oh, maybe a quarter cup of oil. And this SPG is um, Epicure. And I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of that. And this spice is salt, pepper, garlic, garlic, sea salt, herbs, and black pepper. Then I'm just going to mix everything up. Now this kind of stuff also is your preference if you uh, prefer to do like a Parmesan type potato, but because we're having this with steak, we have no interest in Oops, in uh, Parmesan. So that's that. I'm going to put it on a lined baking sheet. Spread it out. And we want to get them all cooked, but we also want them kind of crispy. So it's going to go in a 400 oven. And probably at least a half an hour. Just keep an eye on it. Don't forget you've parboiled these, so it's not going to take as long to cook them. But we want them nice and brown and crispy. So that's the potatoes ready to go in the oven. Here's the finished potato wedges. All ready to, they're, we're having potato wedges, steak, Apple bread pudding with caramel sauce. Yum.